In the lush mountains of Peru, the world's new capital of cocaine production is built on the backs of the poor. Young children pick leaves on vast farms of coca bushes, the first step of production in a huge drug trade. In 2012, Peru eclipsed Colombia to become the world's number one exporter of cocaine. It's carried on high-altitude Incan mountain trails to cocaine traffickers on the backs of poor men from farming communities. Some are in their teens. They're called mochileros, or backpackers. The young men who sometimes rest in huts like these along their route don't want their faces shown. This is a dangerous job. You run risks. You don't know whether you're going to return to your home or be left dead somewhere or maybe end up in jail, grabbed by the police. Much of the cocaine produced in this river valley travels by foot. Each backpacker can earn between $150 and $400 per trip, carrying what could sell for hundreds of thousands in the U.S. They aren't aware of just how illegal it is. They are not really conscious that this is the beginning, the first link in the drug trafficking chain. But in this region of the world, where a farmhand can earn less than $10 a day, the money is hard to resist. It's like playing in a casino where you lose or win. That's what the job is like. At just 19 years old, Mardonio Borda regularly makes a 100-mile journey to transport the cocaine, hiking near the tourist mecca of Machu Picchu, risking fights with thieves and being captured by narco police who patrol the countryside. Each one of us carries what we need for South defense, a 38 revolver. The money these men earn is often used to support their families, but it can suddenly dry up. Prisons near the route are crowded with backpackers who were caught with drugs, serving minimum eight-year sentences. Rufina Galvez's son hauled coca to pay for his schooling. He was found dead on a smuggling trip in 2013. The bodies of some backpackers end up in clandestine mountain cemeteries like this one, men killed walking the first leg of a global drug trade. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.